Welcome to the Spain Gibraltar channel. I'm in Spain looking at Gibraltar. Look at this cool cloud that we have. But what I wanted to show you was what I found here on the rocks. So I'm right at sea level. You can see the level, the, the sea here. This is the dike or the levee. So behind that is the bay. We've got the rock of Gibraltar. We've got the cruise terminal right there with a the cruise ship at port. And then we've got the Bay of Gibraltar or the Bay of Algeciras. It's sometimes known as both. We've got what I love, my favorites, the ships out there. But what I wanted to show you as I'm kind of exploring this area is what I found here, which is homemade sea salt. Well, I don't know, homemade isn't the right word, but this is sea salt. Basically when the tide was up or the water splashed up on here, it created this puddle of water from the sea. And then over the day or the process of several days, it could have been um, the, the water dried out from the sun and it produced real live sea salt. Now I'm not gonna eat it or take it, but this is the method that's been used for thousands of years to make sea salt and table salt. And it's actually one of the most common ways that salt is made here in Spain. If you drive along the southern coast near Cadiz, there's actually, uh, from the highway, you can see the sea salt um, areas where the sea salt flows in. They push all the sea, all the water out, and then it evaporates and creates the salt. And a lot of times the salt that we use here comes from those specific locations. Same with when you cross the border from Spain into Portugal, there's a little town right on the border where they also manufacture sea salt in the same way. And this is exactly how it's made. And that's why I think it's so cool because I'm exploring and I just found this. Sea salt made right in nature without anybody tending to it. Uh, so I think that's a cool thing. Anyway, that's your little educational piece today from the Spain Gibraltar channel on sea salt in the Mediterranean.